Hey friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share a little haul video with you guys. Um, these are things that I purchased from the latest Hello Bluebird release, which was also their Black Friday sale. And then I also picked up um, one or other order, so I will get into that in just a minute. I'm going to set these off to the side and go through everything one by one. I did order these from Hello Bluebird directly because they were having that sale for Black Friday. So the first set that I got was this one here called Feed the Birds, which I think is so adorable. It's got these two little girls and a little bird feeder and a bunch of birds and some adorable squirrels and some sentiments that have to do with kindness. And I have to tell you guys, um, about two years ago, my friend Caitlin and I, um, she's an illustrator and an artist. She's actually the person who designed my header for YouTube and also the intro and outro of all of my videos. Um, but she and I were working on a stamp set together. We were going to come out with a stamp set. And uh, it featured a little girl with her hand outstretched. And she had uh, seeds in her hand. And then there were all of these little critters around. There were birds, squirrels, a deer, a badger, bunnies, and sentiments that had to do with kindness. And when I saw this set, it just blew me away because so much of this was like what we had envisioned. Of course, this is their own designs and their own style, so our style was different. Um, but it's like the same concept almost, and I just thought oh, I had to have it. Um, our stamp set just didn't work out. Um, the person who was maybe going to make it for us didn't end up um, deciding to do it. But um, anyway, I just thought this was so cool that they also had a very similar concept in mind. And I absolutely love it. So this is very dear to my heart, and I cannot wait to play with this. I did pick up the matching dies, of course. I also got the Snow Day stamp set that features these adorable critters, and they're snowshoeing or skiing, and this one's being pulled by a little uh, squirrel with a little sled, and then there's this very cool owl that's flying, and I just think it's super adorable. So I got that and the matching dies as well. I love that it's just winter, but it could also be used for Christmas if you wanted to. Um, I probably won't use it for Christmas this year anyway, because um, I'm almost done with my holiday card series. I believe I have one card for that left to go. Um, so anyway, the next one that I got is the Polar Friends, which I absolutely had to get because of these adorable polar bears and if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that I love polar bears. Squirrels, polar bears, and elephants are my top three most favorite animals. Um, and I love the little penguins too. They're just drawn so sweetly and um, these can also go for winter. There's nothing particularly Christmas about them so cannot wait to play with this one as well. So those were the only three stamp sets that I got because they just had a release a month ago and I had purchased some things. So, you know, it's Christmas time. It's not really a time to <laughs> indulge too much, but I mean, it was Black Friday. I had to get a few things. Um, the next thing I got was one of the new dies. It's called Big Mountain Scene. So I thought this was really cool and could be, you know, working with really any of the stamp sets that I got, but especially like the polar bears or um, the snowshoe guys. I thought those would look really cool with that mountain in the distance and then the slopes with the snow. I just thought that would be really fun. I also got the winter walk scene dies. This is the last thing that I got from the brand new release. But again, I just thought this would work so well with those two stamp sets as well as others. But I just liked the slimline design. I haven't done a slimline card in a while now, so um, I definitely need to make one soon. And then I picked up two things that I just didn't have from before. So 
This one is the Spooky Scene Die, and I probably won't use too much of these elements here, maybe the moon, because um, I don't really make that many Halloween cards, although I did start making a few more this year, so maybe. Um, but I really got it because of the trees. I just thought that that was a cool background, and it was, you know, a part of their Black Friday sale. So I thought that would be good to pick up. I really love their background scene dies. And then I also got the grassy knoll die. So you get these little grass strips and then the two cloudy borders. And I have a bunch of other grass strips from other companies, but I liked how these ones were like shorter and kind of fatter. I just thought it was a little bit different. The ones that I have are typically like taller and skinnier, so I thought it was just like a cute different style, and since it was part of the Black Friday sale, I went ahead and grabbed those. I have been putting this in my cart and taking it out for probably a year, so <laughs> now is the time to go ahead and bite the bullet. So that was all that I got from the new Hello Bluebird release slash Black Friday sale. And then I placed one more order. I did want to share it with you guys. It was at joanne.com and it was for the Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth Premium White Cardstock. There's 50 sheets in this package and I actually bought three of them because this is my favorite cardstock for Copic coloring. Um, back in the day when I worked on the Crafters Companion design team, this is what I used um, with my Spectrum Noirs, but be when I would stepped down from that design team, while I still had my um, discount, I bought a big ream of this stuff, and I used it for years, and I absolutely love it. It is so smooth. It's 100 pound weight, so it's very sturdy. Um, after a while, this stuff got really hard to find, and so because you guys are always asking me what kind of cardstock I use, I felt really bad saying, you know, this one because it was so hard to find, and, and I didn't want to, you know, you guys to, like, feel like you had to, like, search all over for it. I'm trying to get one out here, but it's noisy, um, and it's really stuck in there and I ended up grabbing a couple but anyway so it's nice and sturdy and it's super super smooth um, so anyway because I couldn't really find this anymore um, I switched to the Nina Solar White I have used the 80 pound from um, Lawn Fawn sells like in a, a t I believe it's a 10 pack or maybe it's 20 sheets, 10 or 20 sheets Lawn Fawn sells it in. So if you haven't tried it and you want to try it out, that's a great way because it's a lower price point because it's, you know, just a sample pack. Um, so I have used the 80 pound from Nina, the Nina Solar White. It's the um, index, you know, the card index. It, you don't... They're not all Ninas are the same. It's very confusing, but you want that card index. Um, so it's that heavier duty card stock. It's not just a regular card stock. Paper is so important for your Copic coloring. Um, but anyway, and I have that video with the tools of the trade where I talk about the paper, which I can link right here. But um, anyway, back to the story. I have tried the 80 pound from Nina, which is what Lawn Fawn sells, and I've also tried the 110 pound, um, which I bought from Simon Says Stamp a long time ago. Um, the 110 pound is a little bit too thick for me, so I prefer the 80, but what I most prefer is this 100 pound. It is so bright white and just so smooth. It is perfect to me. Um, so anyway, I have been using the Nina for some time now, but I just missed this weight of cardstock. Um, and so I did a search for it, and I happened to see that Joann's was selling it, and it was on sale. I think it was like a Black Friday through Cyber Monday sale, but they have sales all the time, so it may still be available. Um, but it was like $10 a pack or something like that. 
because I, I know my order was like 30, $32 or something for three packs. So for 50 sheets, that's really good. And this cardstock is amazing, I'm telling you. So um, if you want to get some, um, you might be able to still find it on Joann's or you might be able to find it somewhere else. Um, I know I used to buy it in like 25 pack sheets or 20 sh pack sheets at AC Moore when I used to work there but they went bankrupt so they are no longer um, but you may still be able to find it some places I can't find it on the crafters companion website anymore they have it in like a tablet with a um, like corrugated top like the metal ring top and I didn't want it like that so um, Anyway, if you can find it, this is my number one favorite cardstock for Copic coloring. Um, but the Nina is decent too. So it, I, I, I do like the Nina, but I just really, really love the Spectrum Noir. But anyway, that's all of my purchases from the Hello Bluebird new release and Black Friday sales. So let me know down in the comments what you're most excited to see me use on this channel and hopefully I'll be able to use it sooner rather than later. I think all of them will have to be used in the new year though because my schedule for right now is really full through the end of the year. We'll see if I can maybe squeeze one in. I'm not sure. Um, I do have a Hello Bluebird video coming on Friday. Warning, it's a long one. It's a half an hour long. So make sure to make yourself a cup of coffee or tea, maybe grab some Christmas cookies and join me on Friday morning for that. Um, I'm actually going to be baking Christmas cookies later today. I have another video to film after this one and then hopefully I'll get to my cookies. I haven't had a chance to make Christmas cookies in years, so I'm super excited about it. So I hope you guys are all doing well and that you're having an amazing holiday season and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.